Oftentimes people ask me, what does it take to be a great leader, to hold a team together for the long run? And I will tell you that I've read a great book that I've talked a lot about and the sixth decision from Andy Andrews' The Seven Decisions really, for me, sums up leadership. And that is the compassionate decision. The decision to not only forgive myself, but to forgive others. To put myself in their shoes. Why they must be feeling what they're feeling. Where is their stress or their negativity or their lack of performance or their fear coming from? You know, if you look at people that you employ, they all come with baggage. They come with their childhoods. They come with the coaches and the teachers that said they weren't good enough, that they sucked at math, that they didn't know how to do details, that they had to be perfect, or they had to do absolutely everything that the job required, or they don't deserve to have the job. And they come with previous bosses and they come from previous work environments where maybe they didn't succeed or maybe they were left behind or maybe they were yelled at all the time. So I always have to remember that I need to be compassionate, meet them where they are, forgive them for any of their shortcomings because guys, we are human beings and human beings are amazing, amazing creatures that have the capacity to love and to give and to create and be committed but we also have the capacity to make mistakes and to lead in fear and to freeze and to not go with change. So being compassionate really matters in leadership, especially with your customers. You know, sometimes we get yelled at in the mortgage business. Imagine that. Um, in fact, we get yelled at constantly, whether it's a stressed out partner of ours, an appraisal, a realtor, a title company, or the client that is going through one of the most emotionally charged processes of their life. They're excited, they're nervous, they're panicked, they're stressed, they're anxious, they have doubt, they have regret, they have fear, and they're super excited and all the other things in between. So having compassion for how hard it is for them, for what they must be going through, and not taking it personally, forgiving myself, forgiving my team, forgiving the client, for whatever they may be feeling is what it takes to be a emotionally stable leader that produces consistent results, a consistent attitude over and over and over again. So that's the sixth decision is choosing to be compassionate of others. The a recap on the first five, if you haven't tuned in prior to this, is number one, to be responsible, take responsibility for your life and for your actions and your choices every day. Number two, to be guided to be humble and open to advice and coaching and suggestions and spiritual guidance, um, to be active, to take action in your life, to say this is where I'm going and this is how I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna wake up today and take action. The fourth decision is to be certain. Be certain in what you believe, be certain in where you're going, be certain in charting up that mountain, just be flexible on how you get there. But people that aren't certain literally get thrown around in life and it just doesn't feel great. Um, and then the fifth decision leading up to being compassionate is the joyful decision, choosing to be joyful and happy every single day. Hope this has helped you. I really, really love this book, The Seven Decisions, and it helps me in my leadership, my compassion, my joy every day. Have a great day.